here we are exploring the caves at the Cadi Club. Follow me in. In the tiki 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 room. In the tiki 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 room. Here we are at the uh, the Cadi Club. We've snuck in here when they're not open, and we're going to talk about some of the key things uh, in tiki for drinks. For drinks, that is. <laughs> Well, we say that tiki is really about fun and escapism, and the drinks are no different. There's really no rules. We like to see something festive. We like it to taste tropical, and how do you get that tropical taste? I think it's usually the implementation of spices, uh, whether it be cinnamon or nutmeg. Those kind of island spices that come from tropical places evoke that in our mind and should really celebrate its presentation in a cocktail, so it should be in a pretty glass, there should be a garden on top. And tiki drinks, there's an element of presentation, there's an element of art. For this year, Ram Udwin introduces an intoxicating new addition at Tiki Oasis. So this year, for the first time, Tiki Oasis is hosting a competition for tiki cocktail bartenders. Uh, a bartender's battle, if you will. And we wanted to really reach out into the community and find some bartenders out there that are doing great tiki things but aren't necessarily involved in Tiki Oasis already and bring them into the fold. Bartenders had to submit a video demonstrating their tiki cocktail entry. This is the Spaceship Pink Slip. Cocktail we're making for you today is Islands in the Sky, AKA the moon is a cruel mistress. But Udwin warns the drink doesn't need to be sugary sweet. The true tiki drink is more than just a bunch of sweet juices. It should be balanced in flavor. It shouldn't be too sweet. To prove his point, Udwin steps behind the bar of the Cat Eye Club downtown to make a tiki cocktail. This drink requires some fruit cutting. And he starts by carving a banana into a dolphin and turning a half lime into a boat. A little overproof rum. Then he sets the lime boat on fire for an improvised tiki cocktail. Flipper's hot date is what we're calling this. The heat comes not just from the flame, but also from the addition of Serrano bitters that Udwin makes. That lets the drink go out with a subtle infusion of heat in your mouth. Wow, oh, you get that afterburn. He also concocted a tropical passion old fashioned. And it is definitely a twist on, a, on an old fashioned, but we've done it instead with, with aged rum, passion fruit bitters, and we've used some house-made cinnamon syrup. Real simple, right? But it's all those elements of tropical that you want. And then we've diluted it down to good consistency so we have great balance in the drink. And we've, uh, we've done our cute little tiki presentation here with some uh, pineapple fronds, and some pineapple and an orchid. The finishing touch on the drink enhances your old factory experience before you even take a sip. I'm just gonna take a little bit of my passion fruit bitters and I'm gonna add just a couple of drops to the ice. So um, it, it gives it a big aroma impact. When you put your nose down to the straw to sip it, the aromas of that passion fruit bitters will come off the ice. It won't affect the flavor so much because the, the drink is contained pretty well down here, uh, but it should give you um, a big nose of those flavors, which is really what you want your garnishes to do, is to kind of enhance the experience. Tiki cocktails are also enhanced by the mugs and bowls used to serve them. And what you do with this is you pour the drink in this area, uh, and here you usually will put a sugar cube soaked in overproof rum to light on fire, and then you've got these amazing long straws here so all your friends can share. And so you get like 10 people sipping out of one scorpion bowl. It's about community. Tiki is also about creativity and doing the unexpected with something as simple as a cocktail umbrella in a hurricane drink. Like the hurricane would look like it was hit by a hurricane and the umbrella would be like this on the top of the drink. So it looked like the wind had blown it. Uh, they do some great things with presentation there and that's very Tiki is to take, take the normal and make it the extraordinary. Tiki Oasis is all about taking a vacation from the ordinary for something extraordinary. Beth Accomando, KPBS News.